Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I'm back with, uh, I think this is episode two of Road to Commander, Black Ops, Prelude to Black Ops 2. I am currently on my fifth, fourth or fifth prestige. I don't know. It's the damn lightning bolt with the red claw. I thought it was a horse, but then I saw the uh, logo up, up close yesterday, actually, when I made this gameplay, and I was like, damn, that's not a horse at all. That's a claw and a lightning bolt. That's beyond the point. Anyway, I'm doing some uh, demolition right here. I played a, a ton of demolition yesterday. And uh, one of the things that I hope that they don't do in uh, Black Ops, I caught that guy sleeping, in Black Ops 2 is set the game up to where it is easy to be spawn trapped. It's not really that easy on every level. This level is it's not easy to get spawn trapped on here because of the size of it and the the distance between the two spawn points now i was playing on hotel yesterday and that's definitely easy to be spawn trapped on because you have the two the two um i guess towers of the hotel or if they're two separate hotels i don't know but anyway you have those two buildings and then you have the the choke points right there on the uh you got the two doors that come out either side and the one door in the middle. Most people run out the side doors. That's where you get caught up at. And uh, everybody, of course, knows about Nuketown. That's just notorious. Like, Nuketown 24-7, if you get demolition, it's like, that's it. You, you set up the spawn trap. It's not even about planting the bombs or anything else. It's about just spawn trapping your enemy. I hope they don't have that in Black Ops 2. I also saw the new commercial for Black Ops 2 this weekend. And it's... um. The more I see this game, it's, it's hard for me to, to find a reason to like this game. The more and more of it that I see. And it seems like they're going so far away from what Black Ops or Call of Duty for that matter is that it's, it's weird to, for me to see that. And I'm going to have to actually play the game. I'm still hoping and praying that they release a beta. I don't think that it's going to happen because... Uh, Activision and Treyarch they just don't give a damn about the customers and they they have a track record of just putting out stuff without any sort of input uh, I could go on and on about that all day uh, but you know I'm not gonna do that we all know what the situation is between Treyarch Activision and Infinity Ward uh, but but like I was saying the commercial that I saw it looked so it's just crazy looking man it doesn't look polished it doesn't look well thought out and you know they had like a year to think this game out you know to, to think it through because you had modern warfare 3 which which got released this year and then you know and then later on this year is when black so all since actually since black ops was released they had the the time to really think about what our next game is going to be i don't think that they need to have gone with a a futuristic setting i damn well sort of don't like that not the way they did not that far into the future not the way they have it portrayed through the commercials as i get knifed as i'm planting the bomb i hate that right as the gauge gets full uh but they, they i don't think we need two call of duties that are set in modern times I don't think that we need one that's set in futuristic times either. Now, if they had gone out and did this to where it's like, look, this is this is how it is right here. If they had did it to where it's kind of sort of like a Halo, but not like Halo. Um, let me explain further. If it's like you're on some sort of like a, a, a moon base or something and you got yourself a squad, let's make it a squad based futuristic shooter that is like you have to uh assemble your squad every mission you pick your guys and their strengths depending on the mission i'm talking about single player of course and then you go out and you're on this this lunar base and you have to literally get your squad together and you have to go to the ship and then the ship takes you to where you need to go and then you go from there now see that is that would be futuristic but at the same time it wouldn't be cheesy and it would be something different than just your normal first person shooter they could keep it in a first person perspective but have it to where you have your squad and you can either have somebody with you 
or you could be like look you two go do this objective and blah 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 and depending on their rank and it uh heightens the chance of them completing their, their objectives you know while you take care of the prime the primary objectives that would be kind of cool i don't know well i do know i do know that would be kind of cool i would love to play a game like that but the way they have it now it just looks weird and it's, pr it's probably not going to be as bad as it looks it'll probably come out just fine I don't think that it's going to be a complete failure, but at the same time, I do think that people will overwhelmingly um, uh, prefer Black Ops over Black Ops 2. So, we will see. It's only, what, it's coming out in the fall, so we don't have like a year or so to wait around. Uh, we have you know, only a few months, so we're going to see. We're going to see definitely how it's going to come into place i want to see how the multiplayer is gonna look they said i read somewhere online and it was a rumor i believe it was most likely a rumor that they stripped the uh multiplayer down to bare bones or whatever not bare bones the game style but they stripped away a lot of the extra stuff that went into the uh the multiplayer i'm not too sure what that means but i'm curious to see multiplayer footage and see exactly what they were talking about I would love to see a Call of Duty that went back to the traditional three, five, and seven kill streaks, the way you don't have to worry about having, you know, picking all these outlandish kill streaks. I think they ought to get rid of a lot of the camping and things of that nature. Because a lot of people that play the game are not good enough to run around and get 11 straight kill streaks. Especially in a game like Black Ops, where they you don't have to, uh, where the kill streaks don't stack. There are some people that are really talented. That, that can just run around and get 11 kills and get dogs or, you know, things like that or get the uh, the other helicopter. I don't even know what it's called because I've never gotten it. Huh, how about that? I've gotten dogs like three or four times. The past two times I've gotten dogs, I've gotten them from care packages. So, anyway, I'm not that I'm not that 11 kill streak guy. But uh, let me know what you think. If you saw the commercial, what are your thoughts about it and what are your thoughts on the new game in general? And uh, please, as always, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. We reached, uh, went over 500 subscribers, and I'm happy for that. On our way to 1,000. I'm not having it in the game, Caviar Studios, and I'm out.